I can just imagine the, the name of the riding. Nepean, Turks and Caicos. In the summertime, you'd want to uh, go to PEI to enjoy our beaches, and in the wintertime, you can go to uh, uh, Turks and Caicos. PEI's beaches uh, in the wintertime are uh, not the warmest spots. If there were the chance that this would happen sometime in the future, you know, I'll be putting my name in for regional minister. <laughs> I've never seen the country so united. <laughs> Uh, at least warming to the idea of the sunny climates of Turks and Caicos. They have politicians daydreaming of some kind of new relationship with the uh, Caribbean islands. The federal government quickly dismissed the idea after a couple of fun ruminations, but Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall doesn't seem ready to give up on the idea. This is his tweet, or this is my favorite tweet of the day. If you don't want another province or territory, Turks and Caicos can join Canada as part of Saskatchewan. Are they ca calling it now Saskatchewan warm? Hashtag. Uh, <laughs> We've got Brad Wall via Skype here to join the power panel with Elise Mills, Rob Silver, Brad Levine, and Chris Hall. Saskatchewan sounds like a pretty good idea. Premier, what do you think of it? I like the idea. I think I tweeted that back at somebody who was trying to figure out what the name of the, of the, new, of the province should be. I, I did point out that it was going to cause problems for us with respect to our unofficial motto, which is Saskatchewan. Hard to pronounce, easy to draw. If we got the two <laughs> cables. <laughs> So I, I don't know what figure something out there. But there were 32,000 people there, roughly speaking, in the last census. Uh, the industry, of course, is tourism. There's also a big financial industry there. Um, lots of lobster. So I, I've offered Robert Giz that Saskatchewan and PEI could get together, and he's been slow on the uptake. We wanted a bit of, we want some oceanfront property. We want some lobster. He's been, again, pretty slow uh, to respond. So yeah. we reach out to the, to the Caribbean. Yeah, now, now, what do you think of, of, of the notion that, um, I mean, this always periodically, this seems to come up periodically, uh, but it is sometimes something that Canadians and people in Turks and Caicos are talking about. And I'll, and I'll just show you what the Premier of Turks and Caicos, when he was told about your offer, listen to what he said. I guess persons have lots of interests. I've never been to Saskatchewan, um, but uh, I, I've been to Ontario, I've been to Ottawa, I've been to... Um, to the Maritimes and I've been to British Columbia um, and so they're all lovely provinces and so I would love to have a relationship with all the provinces but whether or not it's an annexation is, is still another story that I can't answer. Now you want beachfront property, he wants wheatfront property, what, what do you make of that? <laughs> it's a fair trade, Evan. Uh, we've got that spot ash, you know there's the back and play. I would just say this, you know, in a more of a serious note though, every time this issue comes up this is the response from Canadians, and it's, I can remember it coming up when I think I was in high school listening to my mom and dad talk about it. So, and today we almost broke Twitter. The country just, you know, went, went all over it on social media. So, you know, there's something beneath this. I get, obviously this has to be something that's desired by the people of Turks and Caicos. There's the whole question of what about the, the UK government, fair point. But honestly, you know, this thing keeps coming up and every time it does, there's just a real interest. I'll tell you, if we, if we did a, if we did a referendum today, I think there would be support. If we did it on Jan mid January, I think it would probably be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I mean, we were, you, you're right that we're, we're kidding about it. I'll bring in the power panel in a sec. But, you know, 30,000 people, they'd want access to our health care system, right? There'd be, there'd be lots of issues that uh, we'd have to deal with. Would you, on a, a serious note, though, some people think it's not a bad idea, would you seriously look into something like that? Absolutely. I mean, you have to determine if there's interest, but this is the fact of uh, life for many countries, uh, obviously with a uh, uh, with uh, some sort of uh, relationship beyond uh, beyond just a tourism one with uh, with uh, with warmer climates, uh, Caribbean countries in particular. So, you know, and I, I just think Canadians would support the dialogue and the discussion to see if it can go anywhere at all. Today was mostly about some fun and and that's OK, too. But, you know, every time it comes up, there's a lot of interest in the part of the uh, the part of the country. Well, this OK, let's bring in the power. Uh, I think I uh, listen, the premier's sensing why not take expressions of interest seriously chris what do you what do you make of this Kibitzing well aside. uh well it started 1917 was the first i think 1974 1980 whatever Gordon was uh, on yeah, to something. you know i just <laughs> if it was such a great <laughs> idea think, yeah. it might have been done a hundred years ago i just I, i'm not sure i understand the real push for this um yes it's nice to have beachfront property it's nice to have a warm place to go uh, but the hurdles of this so the financial services sector there is very different than it is in canada uh, immigration issues as a as a place of landing for uh, for people who uh, want to 
to come to Canada but don't qualify. Uh, I can see a lot of headaches involved in something like all kidding aside. All right, Elise. Well, I don't want to disagree with Premier Wall. Never disagree with <laughs> Premier Wall. Um, I, being on the coast, uh, being a Vancouverite, this may not be such an important issue for us since we've been known to have a bit of a balmy climate uh, ourselves. But I know for all of you, Alberta and eastward, uh, all you were thinking about for the last two months was when is this winter going to end? So it's probably more prominent of an issue. Um, I think it says it all when the Premier of Turks and Caicos ends his comments with, my job is to look for opportunities that encourage a sustainable economy and economic growth. I think Canada would be a great thing for Turks and Caicos. Uh, but again, on the reality of it is just looking at our, our banking, as, as Chris right. brought up, our Banking Act, uh, how we conduct business. So uh, we'll kill Joyce. I mean, <laughs> listen, why he, but why, Brad, why, Brad I mean, of course, there's, there's, <laughs> there, there is for sure barriers. But look, fundamentally, Brad, uh, mm -hmm. the Premier of Turks and Caicos said he's, he, you know, he's interested in his, his word was courtship. Yeah, I, I noted that, that that term courtship, yes. uh, and that's a good one. You know, and I don't know if he's if he's going to other places. If he's you know if we're in competition with other other places, <laughs> uh, it could go to the highest bidder or the coldest bidder. Which we, uh, you know, coming yeah. off the winter in eastern Canada in 2013-14, uh, uh, we certainly have the, the edge up. But you know, you know. I think that there's obviously there's there's a reason why this hasn't been done. If if the interest is, goes back as as Chris says for dozens and dozens of years, there's something blocking that we don't know about. But trust me, going into With this going, attitude, going the U.S. never would have got Alaska. Rod Silver. <laughs> <laughs> But they uh, wanted it. I'm, I'm impressed by Premier Wall able to make the case for uh, Saskatchewan annexation of Turks and Caicos without any reference to 30,000 new Rough Riders fans. I was expecting that uh, the entire t uh, time. Bigger stadium. Um, I, 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 I do say I understand the desire to have a warm climate. There are flights to Turks and Caicos on a daily basis here. If you want to go visit for up to six months minus a day, you can do it today. Uh, so until somebody also proposes to build a high-speed rail train from Canada to Turks like and Caicos, which, you know, we're, we're, in, we're, in election, we're in election season in lots of parts of the country. We'll just have to wait for the platforms to be rolled out for annexation plus a high-speed rail right. through yeah. the ocean. I, I, uh, I, until I like your time. idea. It's a big bridge. It makes the yeah, PEI bridge think look Think of the small. jobs, Evan. Okay, think of the jobs. This is Confederation Bridge times 20. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bradwell, uh, now, any reaction to this? Let's hear Let's hear your yeah. campaign. I do have a reaction to it. This is the this power panel is the worst. <laughs> First of all, if the power this august group of people cannot point to an objection beyond well, I don't know it hasn't been done so far. Maybe there isn't one. That would be point number one. Point number two. Of course, the islands and TCI have been in affiliation with the UK, which has a different banking system. Uh, yes, there's no income tax there. There's a the banking system's completely different. But there's already an affiliation with the UK. I'm saying, wouldn't it be nice if perhaps the affiliation was with us? And in terms of traveling, you're right, six months less a day as possible today, right now. But how about not having to switch the currency? You don't have to clear customs. You're just, you're in Canada. You're just surrounded you by- You know what the Premier's talking partners. about? It's a strategic uh, partnership. And I would right. be in on a strategic partnership. All right, I got, let me take a break. I want to thank our new power panel, Saskatchewan. <laughs> and I will say this, the only thing better than a visionary is a visionary with a good tan. Premier <laughs> Brad Wall, Saskatchewan, going for some ocean coast in Saskatchewan. I, I, I'm with him. I, I think he's, this is a fantastic idea. <laughs> Power panel will stick around for a rapid fire. Premier Wall, anytime you want to talk about annexing any part of the world, you come on, <laughs> on here. Thanks, everybody. All right, that was not a rough rider. That was a soft rider moment. <laughs> Stay with us.